Hey, so I've been playing VR a lot recently. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we like. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Yeah. And if it's not enough. I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store uh, I wanna take it on and I'm falling Alright, hey everyone, so this is me in VR chat And uh, saw a little bit of gameplay of Beat Saber And a little uh, VR game I was playing with these other two people And so, um, yeah, so this is where I've been at um, I got more videos coming out like this soon but uh, I wanted to show you a few stories I heard or asked in VR of what people, you know, something either scary to them or strange or like heartbreaking. And I have to put up a bit of a warning. There is pets, like sad pet stories that's going to happen right now. So if you have a tissue or or if you're like, you know, kind of sensitive to it, please skip over to the number on your screen right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, just sit back and uh, yeah, enjoy the stories. I'll see y'all later. Uh, well Whenever I was in the Great Pub, this guy had on his headset, and he was going and, you know, starting to breathe heavily. And then all of a sudden, he went to the bathroom, and we all followed because we were wondering if it was okay. The next thing you know, he starts moaning, and that fun? happened for a solid 30 minutes. He comes back midway. Bruh, I'm getting sucked off by my cousin, and, and we all just start dying in the bathroom. What the fuck? <laughs> and, anyways, she finishes, or he finishes, and she goes away. And he comes back onto VR, because he had to legitimately get off of this. And he's like, bruh, she's gonna be doing this all night. And I'm like, um. Okay, I think this is my cue to leave. <laughs> oh god, bro. are you serious? Yeah, I am. He's a little furry, uh... He's a little like, furry like, too?! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, no hate points furries. What the okay? fuck? No hate points furries, but... I would like to point out it was a little furry. So. <laughs> what the f- I didn't expect it to be like- Alright, go on. Go ahead and tell the story. But it's not fucking. It's not good though. He's it's boring. it's 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 like you know. I'll get what I can get. I need content. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm a bad storyteller. Okay. So essentially, um, I was doing homework at the park, um, by my sister's work, so I could get my homework done. You know. And then, um. This car drives by and he like pulls up next to me and like I I see him. I like obviously see him, but then like he drives off and then he comes back around and he like parks and then he drives away again. He comes around and he like parks right next to me and he starts yelling at me. I, I didn't hear what he was saying because I was freaked out and I just ignored him. And he drove off and he parked down the street where he thought he couldn't see me, but like I could still freaking see him. And so a uh, brother parks there sits there for like a solid 10 minutes and then he drives off and i'm like oh okay so that's that's it he's just gone and so he pulls back around to the same exact spot and he starts yelling at me again i'm like i just like i look at him and i like make it obvious that i'm ignoring him and then he like drives away again and then he parks behind these bushes like i'm not gonna fucking see him right in front of me and then like i just got up and i started walking away like to go to my sister's work where it's safer and dude starts like following me down the street and it was fucking what? crazy but that <laughs> yeah he was like yelling at me the whole time I'm like dude you're obviously this pasty old white man i'm not gonna talk to you <laughs> he like it was, like, it, it was just fucking weird <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck that's a strange Um, he got ran over in front of my eye when I was wet six. Um, he was standing, and his head was gone. Jesus Christ, are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Like, you're not bullshitting, right? Like... Nope. 
I'm dead ass. God damn. Let me, let me, let me, let me pet you. In here. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. Alright, uh, Javi, do you want to tell your story or, or no? Uh, well, I was having a vacation over in Mexico for like six months or something, and we decided to bring my pet dog who was given to me by my abuela. Because we can't just leave it at the house, and then one day there's like a festival, and I went out looking for my dog, and I saw it in the middle of the dirt road where the village was. And I see all of a sudden a gray truck come over and run him over, and all I see is his intestines and everything just right there on the road. Damn, yeah, bro. I'm tired of hearing it. Hoping it was still alive, but then, yeah, and but then my, uh, one of my. One of my dad's um, one of my dad's uncles came over with a horse, and he just picked me up and told me that he was gone. I didn't I didn't go home for a couple hours. I stayed with my with my dad's deal, and they just told me once I returned that they buried him over there by the desert. He was my favorite dog. He was with me from like whenever I was like four, and I was like. 14 at the time, like 14, 13, around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I'm... So it was like my childhood pet, and I was really sad about it. Yeah, man, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, it's all in the past. 